Now in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to try to show you what I've done in the past. It's not as if this is the, um, the best, uh, way of doing it. I've done it myself, so um, it's not done, uh, as professionally as I think it should be. And, um, so look, um, but I'll show you, I'll show you how, how it works on our website in a, in a second. So what I've done, I uh, made, see when it actually loads up, our website is very, very slow. Okay, so basically what I do, I get the manual, that whatever manual I've been given, and then I have to interpret it, I have to understand. So it's very, very important that you do understand the topic. So if you don't understand, you have to make research in order to understand it really well. You have to um, look for other manuals somewhere else and so on. It's very, very important that you have to really understand the topic in order to make a good manual. Um, often these, these manuals are not very well written, are written really poorly. Um, they're not, not high standards of, uh, by, by any means, uh, very, very poor standards many, very often. But, but anyway, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you what we've, what I've done personally some time ago. So we, uh, we had the three in, in one, um, uh, a hypho. I took a manual and I made it into this web page. It's not as if this web page is it's really good. It's actually a bit rubbish, but it does the it does the job at the moment. So uh, just uh, see when it loads up. So the point is, uh, I'm gonna go back to this now. It's loaded up. Now the point is, with web pages, we're able to to do many more things. Not only can you put pictures, you can actually put links to the web page, which is, makes it much more useful. Uh, you can actually go and uh, you can make videos. You can stick videos in there, which is very, very useful. So um, you have to, if we don't have the, we usually have the videos for this, so look at this particular, we've got a training video here as well. So it's much more useful than a manual on a PDF or a manual that you can actually um, print out. It's much more useful because we've got videos as well. So you basically you read this and then you're able to actually uh, use the device very, very easily. And people are accessing this particular web page for this particular device worldwide. It's really, really good. So you have to... Um, I mean, I don't, I can't remember exactly how long it took me in order to make this, maybe in the region of a couple of days, uh, but I had the videos already made, so um, it took me two, work, two full working days to make this manual here, um, and I had to um, interpret and uh, change all, most of the content anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the, hopefully that, that's really that's helping you somehow. Um, so look, just a second. So pretty much, uh, to summarize, what you have to do, you have to understand, number one, understand the particular device that you're writing the manual for. You have to really understand how it works. And that can actually be a bit, um, a bit difficult. Uh, especially, I mean, to, to me, it's quite easy because I understand it, but you have got to understand that really well. So you have to, to make um, to, to make your own research. We cannot help you with that. So you're in complete charge of understanding it. Then, because if you don't understand, if you, you can only do copy and paste, then it's really no good. Um, then once you understand it, then you have to really write it creatively. You've got to improve on what you've been given, what you have. If necessary, many times you have to even look at other resources to make it better. So you don't actually take um, a manual, just change a few things, off you go. You've got to make it better. You, have to, you must add videos on the manual. It's very, very important. Um, you add them at the right time in the manual because the manual is online. So you add them in the manual. Uh, many times we've got our own videos. So you add those um, and you very likely have to look for them uh, yourself on our channel. So you have to add those, um, and you have to enrich the, the the manual. So the point is to add value to the manual, and the uh, so you you can do many things online. You can actually add videos, you can add links, you can actually, as you see on this particular one, which I'm going to actually send you uh, to all of you. 
I've made this. This is the table of content. And then in the table of content, there's a link, an anchor link to the part that is actually referring to, which is quite useful. Um, quite useful. Uh, yes, indeed, quite useful. So you can actually navigate the page really quickly. So hopefully this gives you an idea. So once again, what I've done, I've just taken a very, very poor manual that was done in Chinese and I made it much, much better. It took me two days, as I say. I've written it in the best possible way. And then I've added uh, links, I've added pictures, um, extra pictures, I've added videos where was most appropriate. It's not, it's not the best. The best. You've got to accomplish better results, but that gives you hopefully an idea of how this is done. And any question, please let me know.